Okay, so take a look at this egg dish. What we're doing is getting some stock up to a boil, drizzling in some beaten egg while stirring with a chopstick, then lowering the heat and covering. Now, I want you, in your mind's eye, to just guess how this dish is going to look like in the end, because it was definitely a bit unexpected to me. Maybe you already know what's going on here, but you can pause the video if you like. For me personally, I was expecting something pretty egg drop soupy, and definitely not this. You see, this is clay pot egg, and it's a classic dish from the Hunan province in China. And while Hunan food might not have the same international recognition as Cantonese, Sichuan, or even a whole host of other regional cuisines, it's a province that sports some of the most interesting culinary techniques we've ever seen. From noodle soups cooked in an alkaline grits base, to eggs cooked in a mold with rice batter and filled to the brim with toppings, to duck stuffed with chicken, stuffed with pigeon, stuffed with quail, it's pretty clear that there's a lot going on there. But it makes sense in a way, because Henan, also referred to as Zhongyuan, the central plain, is, of course, one of the oldest areas of China. Those Shang-era oracle bones that form the earliest evidence of Chinese writing dug up around Anyang in Hunan province. The oldest continuously inhabited city in Asia, none other than the historical capital of Luoyang. And for any other Three Kingdoms fans out there, the city of Xuchang was the power base of everybody's favorite Cao Cao. Historically, the area has been a beating heart of Sinaitic culture, so it's no wonder that they've got some pretty cool stuff. But unfortunately for us, we've yet to swing up that way ourselves, planning, but COVID kept on getting in the way. So for this, we're going to be relying instead on our growing collection of old Chinese cookbooks. So any Hunanese out there, do let us know in the comments how we did. We'll be covering two egg dishes, that clay pot egg at first, together with another really interesting one called tie guo dan, an egg that, traditionally at least, was cooked with a lid. That's right, heated up to literally smoldering temperatures. But our clay pot egg up first. Now there's not going to be all that much to prep for this one, so let's talk equipment before anything. What we'll be cooking this in is a small 500 ml clay pot, but really any similarly small clay pot would do the trick. This is what they'd usually use in Hunan, but a Cantonese sort, Korean one, Japanese one, all would work just fine. So then, to make it, first just crack four eggs and beat those thoroughly till no stray strands of egg white remain. And here we're looking at one cup of egg in all. Then, to your clay pot, just toss in an equal amount, so one cup, of stock and get that up to a boil. In the meantime, toss a touch of vinegar to the egg, like about a quarter teaspoon or so, which will help the egg set later. Then, season your stock. Half teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon chicken bouillon powder, and an aggressive sprinkle or about an eighth of a teaspoon white pepper. Get that up to a boil once again, then start to rapidly make a sort of whirlpool motion with your chopsticks, and slowly pour that in, just like you were making an egg drop. Then cover, swap the flame to medium low, and cook that for five minutes. And after that time, you should be looking at a very jiggly egg, something texturally that's pretty close to steamed eggs or maybe a pudding. Just top it with a good bit of cilantro, and that's it. Clay pot egg, done. And for best results, we like to devour this one alongside white rice. All right, now for the second Hunan egg dish, Teguodan, or iron egg. Now, some of you might have actually seen this video circling around before because it really is quite impressive. Basically, what this dude does is heat a lid up to 700 Celsius, attach it to a pulley, and hover it over the egg to basically broil the thing. All that said, if you'll forgive us, we really didn't feel like having to channel our inner Adam Savage and setting up some sort of kitchen pulley system. So let's just call a spade a spade. There's probably not too much of an advantage the whole lid contraption has over a standard Western oven. And I'd guess that the whole setup was probably concocted because traditionally ovens in China tended to look a bit more like this. So for this one, we'll first want to prep a bit of dried ingredients in advance. Two dried shiitake mushrooms together with six dried shrimps, reconstituted in cool water for at least three hours, but overnight would also be okay. Then after that time, just squeeze the juice out of the shiitakes, snip off the stems, and get both the shiitakes and the shrimps into a dice. But definitely don't toss that soaking liquid. 
For us today, we decided to be a little lazy and forgo the whole making of the stock thing for this one. So in its place, we'll just use that liquid discarding any sediment. Now, we'll be frying those guys at first, but do note that for this dish, you can totally go nuts with whatever sort of add-ins you're feeling. Often you'll see some marinated pork in here, maybe some shrimp, sometimes a bit of sea cucumber. So use this as a canvas and add what you like. But for ours, we'll just season those then with a half teaspoon soy sauce and an eighth teaspoon sugar, and then setting it aside. Now again, before we get to the eggs, let's talk our equipment. For us today, we're gonna be using this pot, but anything that keeps heat well will work. In Hanan, they'd usually use one of these guys, but back in Chunda, we'd often like to whip this up in our six inch cast iron skillet. The size of your vessel will matter though. This pot holds one liter, so for that size, we'll want something like seven eggs. If cooking for just two people though, we did really like that six inch skillet size portion, so just have everything to go that route instead. So then, to our seven eggs, add in 200 ml of that soaking liquid, together with a half teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon sugar, an eighth teaspoon white pepper, and a quarter teaspoon chicken bouillon powder. Just beat that well until no stray strands of egg white remain, and this is ready to cook. So, first just heat up your pot of choice over a high flame and add in a tablespoon half of lard. Give that a swirl, and then to that lard, we'll be adding in a third of our egg at first. Once the edges have set a touch, scrape and stir. Then add another third of the egg. Same sort of move, then add in the final third. After a nice mix, dump in whatever add-ins you've got, and then we'll transfer this to the oven. So, 230 centigrade, preheated of course, toss that in on an upper rack. Then, just let that bake for 12 minutes in all. And once it's done, you should be looking at this sort of beautiful brown crust. Optionally, drizzle a bit of dark Chinese vinegar around the sides of the pot for a touch of fragrance. And then, this is good to devour. What's so nice about this egg, to me at least, is its textural contrast. Crispy, frittata-like top, omelette-like edges, and of course, a sort of jiggly steamed egg center. So as Chris said, we've never been to Henan ourselves, but we've been continuously amazed by the techniques and dishes of that region. Um, fortunately, one of our favorite YouTubers, Zhang Dalei, uh, he's from there, and then he goes around into villages, takes really cool and awesome videos about like uh, big banquets or some kind of like village cooking. And we learn a lot from them. So if you're curious about Henan food, we make a little playlist of his content. You can go check it out. So right, uh, check out the recipe in the description box. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.